don't forget to like and subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel. I have so much more coming up. Now let's talk about the dung beetle. I think these beetles are pretty cool. And just so you know, these animals help a lot. Especially if you have cattle, it helps control cattle's worm problem. They're parasites. These beetles take care of parasites. So it helps decline parasites with your farm animals, which is an awesome, cool thing. They love dung and they eat dung or poo, shall we call it. But not all of them exclusively eat poo, but all of them eat poo at some time in their lives. They either carry it, which is a lot of work for these little small beetles because the weight of the dung is oftentimes so much heavier than their own bodies, as you can see here. So either they carry the dung or some of them decide to go ahead and live inside of it. That Hey, if you live inside of it, you can eat anytime you want and they raise their young. These beetles are considered awesome parents. They really take care of their young, and some species of the dung beetle actually mate for life. But even if the beetle is solo by herself, she manages to do a really good job at taking care of her kids. They are considered great parents. This is a cool find. Now, if, if what happens is they can smell fresh dung, and they're very picky about the poo that they eat. They're very picky about their poo. They like cow patties, and oftentimes they like it fresh. So as soon as it drops within five, 10 minutes, you'll see thousands of them try to compete to get that fresh piece of dung. It's almost like a first come, first serve. So they have to rush to get to that dung to claim it. Take it and roll away with it, or just go ahead and start building. Now, as you can see, this dung beetle is rolling her dung away. So she more than likely has babies and she's bringing the dung to her nest so the babies can eat on it. So usually the, when they nest inside the dung or the cow patties, the, the food is often very convenient. It's right there. They're living inside of it. And when the babies are born, they can eat the poo. So this female here is rolling her poo to her nest so her babies can eat. So they prefer the fresh poo. As soon as it's dropped onto the ground, they like it because it's more palatable. It's easier to digest fresh, warm, soft poo versus old poo. So they're very particular so they can smell it. And once that poo hits the ground, they're running for it. As soon as a herbivore drops their poo, dung beetles will jet really fast to get to that fresh poo. Another interesting thing is when it's really, really hot like it is today, sometimes beetles will rest. And you'll see them stand on top of their poo. It's not that they're, and it looks like they're dancing or something, but it's the ground is hot and the poo is a lot cooler than the ground. So they'll take a break from the hot ground and rest on top of the poo which is a lot cooler. Now these dung beetles are power lifters. They can push something 50 times their weight. Now that's pretty good. Can you push something 50 times your weight? I don't think so. So these guys got game. They're pretty much the bodybuilders of the beetle kingdom. They're pretty strong. They can push stuff 50 times their weight. Now that's awesome. One cool thing about these beetles, these beetles existed thousands and thousands, of like 30 million years ago. But because they don't have bones, you can't find them in fossils. We do know that they existed approximately 30 million years ago. Why? Because paleontologists have found fossilized dung balls the size of tennis balls from that time. How cool is that? So the prehistoric dung beetles collected the poop of South America's megafauna. You mean, you know, the car-sized armadillos, sloths taller than modern houses, and a peculiar long neck herbivore called macro macrochenia. Yeah, the macrochenia. 
the largest dinosaurs. So these beetles were bad to the bone. Guys, I hope you like my orientation of the dung beetle. And now you may know the importance of it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. I got lots more bushcraft adventures coming. See ya.